Pretty good crunch right there. You hear that? Welcome back you guys. We are back here in the month of March doing our March bracket challenge and today on the menu we have wings. Woo. So today we have a special guest, Nelson. What's going on everybody? My name is Nelly, aka your girlfriend side piece that she doesn't care about. <laughs> Thank you guys for having me here today. Uh, I normally run a basketball YouTube channel, but I love my fried chicken wings, all right? So I'm very excited to be here. No, we're glad to have you, bro. Yeah. And our other blind taste tester, hometown favorite, PJ. What's up, y'all? My name is PJ, aka the Brown Luke Walton, and I love chicken wings. I actually entered a chicken wing eating competition, so I'm very excited about this. So as our bracket challenge goes, we have two rounds, and for these chicken wings, the first round is gonna be a naked wing only, and then the second round, we're gonna do buffalo style wings. I think that's really good, because if you don't have a solid plain wing, you don't deserve to be in the championship, right? But plain wings, it's hard to judge. Obviously, there's no taste, yeah. but it's all about like texture, all I, the other stuff. It's like the basics. All right, so we're gonna start with our first round. It's gonna be head to head. We have our first seed versus our fourth seed, and then we're gonna have our second seed versus our third seed, and the winners of those rounds are gonna move on to the championship round. Blindfolds on. So first round we have the one seed versus the four seed. Let us start with the number four seed. Nelson, you like the drum mat or you like the wing? Uh, I'm a wings type of guy. Flat. This is the number four seed. Let's give it a shot. Ooh, it feels pretty crispy. Ooh. Uh -huh. Yo, this is good. Uh, first, you got the crackle and crunchiness in the yeah. batter. And there's a lot of oil that makes it really good. Yeah, it's not like over seasoned. Actually, it's, like, it's a nice plain wing. A little bit of salty, right? Yeah. I feel like the batter is kind of dry. Though. Yeah, but I think that the meat it makes up for the juiciness, you know? <laughs> this is the four seed? Come on, no? <laughs> Alright, so overall, what do you guys think about that one? It's pretty yeah. good. Uh, you got like every aspect of it. You got the crunchiness in the batter. You got the juicy tenderness in the yeah. meat. Yeah, good. Good fun the flavor is balanced overall, and it was just the right amount of crispiness on the outside. So now we're gonna move on to our number one seed. All right, here we go. So this is the champ. This is oh. not the champ, this is just seated high. Huh. Uh-oh. Definitely a lot more dry. Yeah, I am not enjoying this wing as much as the number four seed. Is it, is it tasting like an upset? The taste is fine. It's yeah. the texture of the wing. It's dry, right? It's dry. Even the batter is like really dry. What is good about it? If I'm being fair, it's not a bad wing. But this is pretty freaking dry. All right, so you guys have been settled? Yeah, I think it's right. settled. We have an upset. Number four takes out the number one seed. Ding, ding. Now we're gonna do our next matchup. We have the two seed versus the three seed. Should be a close matchup. We're gonna start with the three seed. It's on the plates. Not bad. This one's better. The skin's very thin. You like it thin? Nah, I kind of like my chicken when it's a little thick, you know what I'm saying? Uh, <laughs> no, but it is still good. The, the flavor of the chicken is plain. It's not as plain as the first one. I don't know how number one made it so plain. This one's yeah. a little bit more seasoned. You know what, man? I have to say, it's not as flavorful as number four. I'm still riding with number four, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, this one's just a really solid win. Yeah, it's just like overall. It's not extraordinary, right? Yeah, yeah. All right, so we have our number two seed, guys. They had the three. They said it's solid. Now they're going for the number Ooh, two. I can tell this one's extra thick. Oh, you got that thick thick? Oh, you see how that crunch? I didn't bite it. I heard it. You know. <laughs> Actually, flavor-wise, it's on the plain side. I'm still good. trying to gauge it. The texture, texture too thick. It does have that breading on it. Yeah. But it is a tasty wing. Like I'm enjoying it. I would not agree. I think. Oh, okay. It's a uh, obviously we're eating plain wings, but this one's like it's more on the more plain side. The number three was a thin one, right? Yeah, the thin, thin piece. You just have before. It's yeah, I think for the first time I have to go with thin over thick. You thin. guys heard first time ever. We're going thin over, over thick. thick. All right, I mean, coming back to these two, I kind of like the breading of number two, but it also allows it to be more flavorless because it has more like surface mm, area, exactly. you know? I feel like the breading and then the skin makes the wing really extra dry. And it kind of hurt, it, like, hurts your throat. It's like something you don't want to eat a lot. This would shine more with sauce. True. I don't know, three was good. This one so was you're picking two over three? No. All right, guys, so we've had both seed number two and seed number three. What is our final decision? What are we thinking? Man, it was pretty tough, man. Yeah. It's kind of hard to pick the winner. Obviously, two and three is always a close, close matchup. And they were actually very different wings. But I think in terms of like the texture of it, I, yeah. I prefer three, three. I go number three, three also. Yeah. Dang. Another upset on our hands. Upset? Dang. Number three yeah. seed takes out number two. And guess what? This is the first time ever we have a number four seed versus a number three seed in the championship. That's true. Wow. Ooh. All right. So now we're going to move on to the championship round. We have the number three seed versus the number four seed. It's going to be a sauce stuff battle. Let's get it. All right, so I put the wings in front of you guys. There's a little extra sauce on there. What is this? This is seed number three. 
nice and spicy. Just a little vinegary. The texture of the three, you know? It goes really well with the, the meat and the sauce combined really well in this one. The sauce is like, got a nice thick and roll with the meat, you know? So far, executing really well. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's a good wing. If you were to call something a buffalo wing or a hot wing, that would be it. All right, I think I'm ready for the competitor. Here we go, number four. four the Cinderella story of the tournament. Ooh, wow. the foam. The skin is nice and crispers. Crispers. Wow, that's good flavor on the wing. Yeah, the texture is good, but the texture and the skin is not as a, it's kind of like really chewy. Try, try this bite right here. I think flavor alone tops it all. This is like a very good flavored wing. All right, so it looks like they're having a hard time deciding. I'm gonna give them a couple moments to deliberate while I pound some of these wings. We'll be back with you guys with their final decision. All right, guys, and we are back. I think they've made a decision. Let's see who took the cake. Number three seed was a very strong candidate. It was very well-rounded. It tasted exactly how a hot wing should be. Nice and vinegary, right? A little spicy. The meat went really well with the sauce. It wasn't dry at all. And the skin had a good amount of crispiness to it, right? I agree with everything you said on number three. Number four, texture was not as great, but I think the flavor alone in number four, it just like overpowers everything. Number four, I think, I think we'll take it home. Yeah, I have to go number four also. Guys, the Cinderella story is complete. <laughs> and the winner is number four. Number four wins, you guys. This is the first time ever in all of our bracket challenges that a number four seed has won. Don't ever underestimate the underdog. I know, <laughs> that's true. Don't ever. All right, so any guesses on what number four was? I, I would say, based off the popularity right. in terms of ranking and seeding, right. I would assume Wing Street is number four. Well, take off your blindfolds. The number four seed was Wing Street. Oh hey. my god. Dude, don't sleep on pizza's Wing Street chicken wings, man. Don't sleep on them. Don't sleep, man. They, they, they're good. What I was blown away about Wing Street Pizza Hut is that the flavor. It was just so it, good, man. Even the plain flavor was good. Exactly. But at the same time, you don't really go to B Dubs or Wingstop, even, or Hooters. You get just their plain wings or they're just buffalo. I mean, they have a lot because of flavors. With them having so many variety, why would you get plain wings? Yeah. You want to get like the super tasty, flavorful, yeah. crazy. Exotic. Yeah, lemon pepper, yeah. garlic parm. But if you're just talking about plain wing and buffalo wing, Pizza Hut, man. Wing Pizza Street. Man. Who would have thought? Big yeah. shout outs to Pizza Hut Wings. You guys showed out today. You guys definitely put on the sauce. All right, guys, we just want to thank you guys for watching another one of our March Madness Bracket Challenge videos. If you guys agree with our picks for the best chicken wing, hit that in the comments below. And if you think there's a better wing out there that we didn't try, put that in the comments below too. We would love to try. So I want to give a big shout out to Nelson from Hoopin' Life hey. here. You guys should definitely check out his channel. We'll put all his information down in the description below. Oh, if you guys like our video first time watching, please hit the subscribe button and hit the button right next to it to get all of our notifications. And keep your eyes out for the rest of March to see the rest of our bracket challenge videos. And I guess we'll see you guys next time on Hype. Ooh. And you, and you, and you did right from the start.